Hello, everybody, and welcome back to... I almost said RimWorld because I was just responding to some RimWorld comments. Uh, CK2, uh, last episode, we fought a phony, phony war against Carpathia, whose <laughs> name just kind of got squished down. Okay, so the main one's back up here. We got a little minor one here. They took Corsica and Sardinia. Hispania, the Fraticellis fell, it looks like. Um, and they're back in... Uh, Hispania's back in Bedouin hands. So that, that was an interesting little side jaunt there, but it didn't last forever. Um, I died. Uh, Pontifex Maximus Benjamin II, the Brute, died, and Narc uh, Pontifex Maximus Narcissus has taken over. He is married to Queen Sibylla of Greece, his wife and heir apparent, because he doesn't have any kids yet. I am one over on my limit now, so I should go ahead and get rid... Or, or, or... Realm laws? Centralization's already on high, so yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of something. Keeping the baronies there, Abakir, I could get rid of, Tusculum, I could get rid of, Montevassia, I have to keep, yeah, those need to keep, Athens, I can get rid of, well, no, that's, well, Thessaly, I can get rid of, I think. Th Thessaly? What, what duchy are you part of, Thessaly? You're part of that second duchy I already have. I think it would be better to get rid of, like, Alexandria or Rome. I think what we'll do is Alexandria. Here, let's go ahead and... You already adjusted. What I want to do is search any... We want my religion, my culture, gender any, prison, no. Married any, ruler, no. Uh, not my dynasty, uh, any. And we want someone with, like, a good stewardship. And what we'll do is we'll go grant land a title, County of Alexandria, send. And maybe, maybe he'll be able to defend his own land from raiders. Maybe. Uh, court tutor? He... Actually, yeah, he'd be pretty good. Tough soldier. Or is that she? With a hat? Georgia, yeah. She with a hat. Not he, she with a hat. Also, um, I don't know who died and left me more money than God himself has, but I'm 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 rich as fuck right now. So I never thought I'd actually do it. I don't think I've ever built one of these, but yeah, let's do it. It's it's, it's only twenty six hundred ducats. Uh, let's see. What are we what what one of these? We uh, culture spread, piety, and prestige. Tech points, or we do the expanded sick house. These are, these are just be the hospital's really expensive. Let's go ahead and build the sick, sick houses down here. And let's go ahead and do that one as well. Let's see. I don't really care about the shipyards, but I'll upgrade the barracks. Castle fortifications. Yeah, and I think that's uh, that's good for now. Just keep the rest around. Dumped a lot of it into hospitals. New marshal. We'll go to that Polish woman I'm having sex... Or my father was having sex with. Oh, it said I was having sex with him. I forgot. Benjamin's dead. Benjamin is passed. I kind of dug that phony war versus Carpathia. This, this like, finally came down to some, some pugilism. And we came off pretty well. We didn't do bad. We didn't do bad at all. I mean, I wasn't trying that hard. Oh, and we have to, uh... Wait, why would I lose this one? Oh, does this have a different succession? Wait, can I declare the, 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 the Pontifex my primary title? Well, I just... Will that change me from Greece into just the Pontifex? Goes to my half sister. Who, who is this little bitch? I think I know who it is. She's a Kletos. It's a absolute cognate. Women inherit the same ground as men do, and it's elective. So the, is someone just voting for her? What's going on? 
trade post in Corinth. That's here. Yes. Assemble the mob. Let's get it all mobbed up. Now that uh, somebody else controls this, maybe they'll be able to defend it better than I than I could just because I'm lazy. Uh, I'll build the trade post again. I've been spending some time with my wife lately, and through the course, uh, of course, we did not marry for love. I can tell it is growing between us. That wow, she really. Oh, I, I gave her a gift, attraction to groomed, chosen successor. Oh yeah, so there's a couple. There's a couple things in there. What happens if I make the Pontifex my primary title? It's it's. It doesn't have any land attached to it. Uh, envoys from the Grand Mayor of Alexandria have presented you with significant bribe and hope that will use your influence to spare his trade poor in Corinth. Good. Have the crowds dispersed. He he loses money. Yeah, uh, just give me the money. I'm gonna keep a lot of this around, just just in case. A lot of that money is just gonna kind of sit in my pocket. And I'm definitely not gonna spend 600 of it to do a thingy. All right, what are you trying to do? I should probably turn, um... Not a big uh, fabricated claim. That's not cool. I think we're gonna auto-stop now. Yes. Put that back on. Great Holy Ward. Oh. The mighty, uh, Flickier, uh, Mindvuk II has decided that it's time to teach King Arnold of Asturias and the believers uh, in the dead crucified God, another lesson in humility. All free dramatic men are invited to partake in the scouring of the kingdom of Asturias. The Thunderer is with us. That's unfortunate. So seriously, um... My, uh... Laws, inheritance. The, the so this is agnatic cognatic elective. Cognatic cognatic elective. Where is the information? I thought it would just all stick together. So I've nominated. So Martha, Martha. Is there anything I can do? Like, does this actually give me anything? Does it give me, does it give me some piety? Humble Pontifex Scepter... Dynasty Controls Hellenic... No, I don't see it in there. I did not see it. I'm, 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 I'm pretty happy with the way things are going right now. I mean, I, I wish Carpathia would just kerplode already. They're just so stable. Commander improved. One of my commanders has improved significantly. Excellent. He's got no money to his name. They don't, they honestly don't make it a lot of money. Ooh, assemble the party of mercenaries who will ambush the emperor disguised as highwaymen. Murder, murder, murder. Murder, murder, murder. Oh, uh, you know what? I haven't looked at it in a little while. I haven't, I could kowtow. That would give me some, some doodle. New court physician. New court chaplain. I'm gonna go it. I'm, gonna, I'm doing it. Let's try. We're gonna try to get that five thousand prestige. I can always also send him one of those books I'm not using. I heard the magnum opuses are good for that, but I don't know for certain. Failure. Uh, but at least the disguise of the, the mercenaries held up, concealing my involvement. Okay, good. They don't know it was me. Our castle walls. Yeah, get those walls up as high as we possibly can. Negotiate with jerk bet. No, that's fine. So we gave this province away to a pole. The one-eyed pole. Oh, he's Russian. I could have said it. I sworn it said Polish. Oh, well. That's okay still. He's a Slav. Hmm. I've had 16 prisoners, and almost all of them are worth money. Altogether, they're worth nearly 500 ducats, and most of them... Oh, wow. Most of them are from Epirus. Princess. 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 I ca So, I captured three of that guy's daughters and his wife when I sacked his capital. First things first. Um... 
gouge out her eyes. Then let's see. Um, your daughter. No, nah, we'll just send. We'll, we'll just uh, ransom the rest back. I just gouged out his wife's eyes, and then I'll send. I'll send the rest back. You jackass! What's wrong with your face? You just have freckles, or are you you ugly, or are you just ugly? What, what's the deal? Sent and descent. And I can't believe how much of that guy's family I captured. I don't think I've ever done that before. Captured quite that many people in one go. Four members of his family went down. Man, what is what is my? We're at one hundred and thirty-seven percent. We're getting close. We're, we're peasants in Athens are quite far apart and spread out. Suggest a provincial provincial messenger system. That is just fine. Hey, jerks. Don't run from me. It was nice to take Andri Adrianopolis that other episode. That was that was nice. That was good. It's a good thing. Also, murder! Sick house has been built in Monavasia. Expanded. Guy rise my court. Kowtow to China. Camped by the roadside for a whole day, the sky has been pouring over us with unusually heavy rain. The whole situation has brought my thoughts to the memories of my late mother, Euphrasia. She was the bravest person I know. Or, can't dwell in the past, I must carry on forward. We'll do that one. Uh, what about, what about Phyllis? Have you ever heard about Phyllis? Phyllis the Butcher? She was pretty sweet. Perhaps it is time I asked the queen to spend some time with me. Yes. At first second there, I was like, why haven't I impregnated her, her yet? I'm in China. An apostate's been found. Who is it? That's, that's, uh, that's the one who found him. He's dragging High Augur Krios with him. Krios the lewd. Well, uh, sorry, dude. He was also possessed by the devil, so. I think these days have really helped me getting Sibylla to know and appreciate me better. We have passed most of our time in the palace discussing the most disparate topics. I was honored by your visit. I feel fulfilled all my obligations as a host. I was honored by your visit. She's so struck by my generosity and kindness, kindness as a host that just before departing, she told me how she uh, feels indebted to me. All right, nice. And she likes me. Well, that's good. All right, so what is our, like, disease resistance here now? 70% resistant disease. That's pretty good. Ideally, we want to do, okay, basically build a, just a, a tiny wall of those these two really good hospitals to keep the diseases at bay. Oh, God, 1,600 more gold on a freaking hospital. That seems so expensive. Also, I need to, I need to keep upgrading this place, and there's that trade post. I, I, I've told myself that I well, that we build eventually. What is this? What's the highest level here? Oh, it's just an emirate. It's just a, it's a free emirate. Not a big deal, really. Oh, you know what? I am I'm not I'm not a member of a society yet. How smart am I? Ten. I wonder what do I need to do this? Uh one of the following must be true. Temperate, erudite, brave, just learning equal to fifteen is not in hiding. So if I get my learning up to fifteen, we can establish the Stoic Foundation, which sounds like it'd be fun. Um or 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 the other options would be to do the assassins. Try to try to murder our way into Carpathia here. Like like maybe if I was personally murdering people. Yo, my wife's pregnant. Wait, I was in China. How did my wife get pregnant while I was in China?
hire someone to find out. This man has been openly proclaiming his allegiance to Bacchus uh, Mystery. We shall be done with him. Uh, it's a mayor of Syracuse. Burn him. Burn the apostate. Oh, you know what we should do? Uh, so, descent in Poland? Train troops in Corinth? Prostatize. I don't think there's any place to really do that. You know, we could always try just to see what happens. Prostatize somewhere else, somewhere else just to see if I can mass convert like one guy. Count out of China. As the days drag on, I find myself thinking back to Corns, wondering what uh, is happening in the castle, and how is Queen Sibylla fa fa faring without me? When can I return home to her? Gods, I'll send a letter to my wife. Fifty-one dollars. Um, yeah, sure. Fifty-one ducats to send a letter to my wife from China. Soon after the Flamen arrived in the Lower Dawn. Uh, who's it's ordered his imprisonment? Your auger is now languishing in the prisons of a pagan lord. Whoops! Alright, well, there there goes that. Sorry, dude. I just wanted to try something new. Guess I'll just have him researching cultural tech for now. Not found anything at all suspicious about her pregnancy. Am I paranoid? I, yeah, I'm just paranoid. That's a relief. That's a relief. I'm just a paranoid guy who doesn't understand how pregnancy works, apparently. Wow, 200% on that guy. He's incapable, too. So distrust between Herman of Poland and his liege, the emperor. Excellent. No, not negotiating. I, I do think it's, it's a valid... A valid idea to just get me that 10 years of peace. Ooh. By settling some raiders in my land, just giving just getting giving up a province. It's, it's, it seems worth it to me to keep the, the raiders at bay. Great Holy War for Asturias. The Great Holy War for Asturias against King Arnold of Asturias has resulted in King Arnold of Asturias uh, converting and becoming a faithful pagan. <sighs> you bastard. He converted to Germanic. Rather, rather than face the horde, he converted to Germanic. Italy's standing tall against all the problems, though. Oh, hey, look, the Pope's back. Ish. It's good tradition to have some gossips around a pregnant woman in order to keep her calm and distracted from the tribulations of this delicate time in her life, as her husband is my duty provider with these. Yes. Riders approach the caravan, heading, uh, handed me a letter with the seal from Gloss Conchok. The Quarreler. Conchok has heard of my travels and invites our party to rest for a while in the warmth of the castle. My tent as accommodations. Content, shy. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. My, that, that guy I sent out, he was just burned at the stake. Warm hearth and healthy meals have invigorated the whole company after enjoying the hospitality of Goss for some time. It's time to get moving in your path to the Empire. So, wow, we were really close to the end there. Thank you, friend. All right, Carpathia. Next. I'm not a high entry character, but normally there's enough people who just want him dead normally. Narciss is known as the wealthy. But through an inheritance though he didn't make the money himself he just someone just gave it to him all right i guess that's all right you like me right yeah you do domain is too big well that's that, you know, that that we'll fix that up when i get back from china china well, we'll see what happens when we if we get some good stuff daughter was born yes Love it. Athans, uh, Athanasia Kletos. Delightful. Perfect. 
Um, you would love me more if I made you a minister. Oh, I was wondering why this was taking so long. That's like level three walls or something like that. That's, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Raiders, not a big deal. They're just passing through. So title, why is this title loss? Why is it going to her? It's elective, but it absolute cognatic elective. It's not showing anything. So in this one, it's elective. It shows me. It shows me who the electors are and where they're voting and whatnot. All right. Not a big deal. Now we're 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 in a, a safer spot now. I could always, if uh, if it comes down to it, just switch it back to primogeniture. I'm hoping I just I I want to crank out like six kids. We need to just crank out a number of children and expand the dynasty. We'll all marry them to each other, and then they'll crank out kids, and then we'll marry them to those kids. Uh, Quinn Sibylia is already very fond of me. Perhaps I should focus my time and resources to sway someone else. Yes, we could stop swaying her now. Most guests, ha guests have departed, and everything has turned, uh, and evening has turned into early morning. Yet, Huzitz and I are still deep in conversation. We talk about religion, righteousness, and how to do the right thing. He suggests that giving alms and fasting must surely bring uh, more uh, mortals closer to the divine. Sure. Sure. I mean, I'm not going to do it. I'm not giving alms out. That's not my way. Since I had such a good time a few weeks before, I invited this guy to share it in an informal meal, yet again the conversation found its way to the topic of religion and righteousness, expresses admiration for those willing to give their life fighting for their beliefs. Agreed! We are quiet for a moment, both seemingly contemplating these devout souls, then he looks up at me, a curious intensity to his gaze. Uh, that is not an impossible wish, Narciss. Are you ready to kill? And if he wills it, get killed to defend the words of his prophet and the rightful heir. Yes. This is the, this is the assassins. I do. Uh, he says with a solemn, almost ceremonial voice, there is an order devoted to Allah and the rightful caliph, one of the defenders of those truth faith and bringing vengeance to their uh, uh, persecutors. The assassins are always in need of champions. Yes, we will do that. Hey, we arrived in China. I mean, I'm just going to keep assassinating the Carpathian leaders to see what happens. And we're going to work on China at the same time. My eyes open, seeing only darkness for a moment. My mind is blank before the first thought uh, gets through the he haze of sleep. Why did I wake up? A deep man's voice cuts through the silence, startling me. The time has come for you to profess your devoutness to Allah and the rightful Amim Ali. I will be, uh, I will secretly do it. Excellent. I, I'm not, I'm, I'm secretly Sunni, but I'm not secretly Sunni. I'm secretly, secretly Hellenic still. Zeus Volt. Uh, excellent. I turned my head towards the voice. The hood figure steps out of the shadows by the door and hand appears from underneath the cloak, holding out a piece of par parchment. Before we continue, you must sign this, a written pledge of allegiance. Of course. As soon as I lift the tip of the quill from the parchment, the hooded man snatches it from the desk. The Grand Master will be pleased, Pontifex Maximus Narcissus. You will receive an invitation to our stronghold, but for now, go back to bed. You will need the rest. The next moment, he is gone. So he found me while I was on the road. That's impressive. I mean, losing the, um, the, the, pont the, 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 the Collegium Pontifexium, um, Sucks, but I mean, I think if I switch it back to primogeniture, everything is fine. Have I invited the assassin stronghold. Wait, am I perf wait, wait, am I going from China to the assassin stronghold, then back home? Are we doing it ABC? Uh, ask for gold to hire some mercenaries. He will ambush the Huzitzes. That's gonna be a lot. Um, yeah. I'm out on a walk in a beautiful park in the Middle Kingdom when I spot a group of people intensely focused gathered up around a square board with circular pieces in black and white. We playing Go? How do you play this game? I'll just join the, bar, the park myself. Um, This might reflect well. 
the oh wait so are am i doing am i am i popping back and forth between china and wherever this place is masayif uh, it was comfortable, however, the, the dwindling mountain path to the Assassin's Stronghold was a uh, torment to tread. As I finally arrived in the castle, my guide brings me to the main tower where I'm introduced to propagandist Abdullah. No time for pleasantries, not even a moment to catch my breath before he leads me through another door down a spiraling stone staircase. We descend in silence. The stairs ends and propagandist opens another door. Revealing a gloomy basement room and a figure kneeling on the floor. Who is that? This is your test. With these words, he pulls out uh, the hood from the woman's head. It is Duchess Euphrasia, my niece. Oh, no. There's so few members of my dynasty as is. Um, I feel like right now the dynasty is small but stable, and I really want to do this assassin things. If this is what the grand the grandmaster wishes. The blood is still gushing from the infidel's limp bodies. I kneel in front of the propagandist. He recites the oaths of the assassins, and I repeat after him. I thought that was actually my wife at first when the portrait appeared. Um, as propagandist Abdul speaks the final words, inducting me into the order, he smears the blood across my cheeks. Stand up, a here at Narciss. Welcome to the assassins. Oh, look at that hat! I've got the assassin. I got the assassin hat, and I got the Pontifex Doodle. Oh shit! Spent five hundred dollars on nothing. Ducats. Five hundred ducats. Five hundred ducats. On absolutely nothing. That's unfortunate. Alright, Castle Town. Next. Oh, that was unfortunate. I was really hoping that would work. Who's she patrolled to? Who's this? Eh, just some Greek kid. How you doing down here, friend? Doing good? You look like you're doing good. I think he's doing okay. Oh, wow. We can upgrade the castle town and other places as well. Hell yeah. Because that's more... That's straight up more money for me. My guards and I are making our way through a bustling market this morning. There's a ample supply of every meat and game and trinket and bauble around. Here and there, we encounter soldiers along with dignitaries of other foreign co uh, courts. All right, spend the three hundred dollars. Don't give me a tier one item again that I can't use. Gin calligraphy. I think I can actually. I think that's something that'll stack. Quality two this time, and it's not something that's completely useless. This painting shows the flow and beauty of Chinese writing. Clearly, the work of a true master. Prestige and city vassal opinion. Delightful. I'm actually okay with that. A little expensive, but I'm okay with it. God damn, I can't believe I spent 500 ducats and they failed. That bums me out. Did he just die again? Holy shit. Every time it, sa it says uh, uh, the defensive pact has been disabled, um, it it it's cute to start murdering again. Did anything... I'm, I'm just kind of looking around. I was like, did anything break away? Nope. They just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Trying to focus on my training, but he is always there. No matter if I'm studying in the Great Old Order Library, hid behind piles of books, or sparring with a fellow assassin... This jerk face with the weird mustache is apparently ha he apparently has to do the same, and his taunts and snide comments are driving me mad. What is my personal combat? Thirty-four. Time to really determine who the superior assassin is. Let him try. I am not easily provoked. I ignore him. I get focused on training. Give me intrigue, learning, and personal combat. Good. Intrigue is only seven. Well, uh, well, hopefully we'll be able to get it up higher and uh, get some good murder uh, mur mur murderology going. We're running low, uh, late on this episode, but I really wanted to finish my kowtow. God 
damn it, look at that. This new guy is stronger than the last one, too. I think what we're- I think the plan is, is we're gonna keep assassinating. And we're gonna try to get the- the grace with China up. Let's see if we can request an invasion. If- I mean, because I don't- I've never requested an invasion before. I don't know if they can- how- how well they'll fight. Or- or what? I don't know if Carpathians can beat them, but we will see. Uh, Chief Minister opens the door to the throne room, nodding for me to enter. After I performed a deep bow and sign of uh, uh, subservience to the Emperor, reaches out and touches my forehead. Nice. I am honored. Kowtow gets monthly grace of... Oh, cool. Monthly grace, I like that. Alright, I'm home. Alright, cool. We, we did manage to do it. So we kowtowed. Uh, probably up to close to 1900. Yeah, just about 1900. Um... Holy fuck, no. Value. 220. Sender. Everything's worth- it looks like just about- oh, wow. No, a couple things are worth a little bit more. Oh, god. The magnum opus is worth 2,000 alone. Oh, we we could we could get pre. Actually, if we send him one of the magnum opuses, that gets us pretty close because we're gonna be at. That'll get us up to forty one hundred. That only puts us less than a thousand away from being able to get a Chinese invasion on our hands. Anywho, we'll have to look at that tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.